if you're someone who loves trivia and space, do not go anywhere because this morning we are arming you with all sorts of scientific tidbits. I love this kind of stuff. For example, did you know the sun weighs two quintillion kilograms? That is a real number. But have you also wondered why it's so hot and how hot it gets? Well, this morning we are getting all our cosmic questions answered by a man who knows a thing or two about science. Bob McDonald is sharing his knowledge in an Earthling's Guide to Outer Space. And I'm pretty sure he is the first guest we've had on this show who has an asteroid named after him. Good morning to you. <laughs> Good morning, Henry. You know, I know a lot about you. I did not know you had an asteroid named after you. That was pretty cool. An astronomer in uh, British Columbia who uh, does deep sky astronomy, he sees asteroids all the time. He gets to name them to, after whomever he wants, and he honored me. He said, Bob, I'm going to name one after you, and it's official, so it's so pretty cool. So is it the Bob McDonald, or is it it's like Bob Bobby McDonald. M? What's it called? No, it's called Bob McDonald. Bob and McDonald. it will not hit the Earth, okay? okay. It will not hit the Earth. You don't <laughs> so, want to be responsible for that. Yeah, so it would be on Mars, between Mars and Jupiter, but that was a big honor for me. Well, I I said, yeah, of course. I said in the uh, interview, quintillion, two quintillion kilograms. Yeah. That's a real number. And 15 million degrees Celsius is That's the heat of the sun. That's pretty hard to imagine. You yeah. know, when, you, when you talk space, some of the numbers are so huge, it's hard to imagine. But when you have something that is that large, it's heavy. It's, it's got a lot of gravity there. And the gravity pulls towards the center. And it, when you squeeze things together, they get hot. And in the sun, they get so hot that nuclear explosions start to happen. The, the sun is a giant nuclear bomb huh. that's going off all the time. And the only reason it doesn't blow itself apart is because the the explosion's trying to blow out, but gravity is pulling in and the two balance each other. So it's just sitting there on this tense thing <laughs> like that, just burning away. And fortunately, it's got enough fuel that it'll keep doing that for another three or four billion years. So it will be there tomorrow. Incredible. <laughs> uh, I love this one. Twinkle, twinkle, little star has been lying to us the entire time. They don't actually twinkle. What's going on? Well, they don't twinkle if you're in space. Because stars shine very, very steadily. They appear to twinkle here on the Earth because we're looking through air. And air's got dirt in it. It's hot and it's cold and it's always moving. So they, they appear to twinkle to us. And what's neat is that they twinkle more if you're looking along the horizon than if you look straight overhead. Oh. Because you're looking through more air when you look sideways like that. For astronomers, this is a problem because in their telescopes, the stars are shimmering all the time and it makes the images blurry. So that's why we put telescopes in space above the atmosphere right. so that things like the Hubble give us these incredibly clear pictures. I'm so distracted. twinkling stars is an illusion that only happens here on the ground. Oh, fascinating. Yeah. Hey, uh, one of the great things about this book too is you have a lot of demonstrations. I love demonstrations. They help yes. me to understand concepts like science. You brought one in to show us today about That's how, right. this is a great question. My kids have asked about black holes and I don't know how to explain it. Why are black holes black? Well, I've, I've got a lot of activities because I believe if you can take ordinary objects like plastic pop bottles and see a scientific principle in them that it, it makes it easier to learn. So I've taken two caps of these and tied punched a hole in the middle yeah. and tied them together with the threads facing out so that I can put them together like this. Oh, I've got water in one of them. And so you put them together this way and this is going to make the shape of a black hole using water. And all you have to do is just swirl it around like this and watch what we get in the center. Swirl around. <laughs> there it goes. Oh. Isn't that neat? So there is the shape of a black hole. It looks like a tornado, right? Yeah. Which it is. That's called a vortex. Tornadoes, your toilet bowls, and black holes all have the same shape. <laughs> and the stuff that's swirling around there actually swirls around at the speed of light. The black hole would be right here. You go in, you don't come out. And where do you come out? Well, we don't know. Oh. Is it another universe like ours? We don't know that. But there it is. That's the same shape. Nature preserves scale. The same shape that happens when you pull the plug on a drain. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. <laughs> this is fascinating. There it goes. That same shape happens uh, my bottle's not being cooperative here. Oh. <laughs> hey, Bob, while you're doing that, I have some true or false questions for you. Do you have okay. a second to answer them for me? Sure. Uh, okay, true or false. The rings of Saturn are made of snowballs. That is true. They're snowballs about the size of your fist or the size of your head, and they're going around in a perfectly flat plane around the, the rings of Saturn, billions of them. It's either a moon that came apart or bits and pieces of Saturn that were left over that didn't become the planet itself. It would take flat. 20 million people holding hands to stretch across the Earth. Uh, that is true. That 20 is 20 million. 20 million. Uh, just just holding hands like this. That's uh, how far it would be to go around the Earth. That is incredible. Hey, it is such a great book. It has experiments like this in it. I always love chatting to you about science. <laughs> the book is called An Earthling's Guide to Outer Space. Thanks, Bob. Thank you.
Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.